Good morning. I'm uh, back on the Peden Lake hike again today. Um, I didn't intend on doing this again so soon on this channel, but I'm uh, out on a hike with my family because it's family day. Um, I'm not sure when you'll see this, probably quite a few weeks after, but uh, they wanted to go to Peden Lake, so that's where we're going. But uh, it's a beautiful day today. It's, it's a little chilly, um, but I'm sure I'll warm up from walking, but um, yeah, it's sun's in the sky, it's not raining. Apparently it snowed last night, or there was a little bit of snow in the morning, but kind of wild. Um, but I'm just gonna enjoy this hike with my family and uh, I'll keep you in the loop along the way, showing you the, the fun little spots. Well, it appears there's been a big storm or something because a lot of these logs that are down weren't down the last time I was here. So it looks like there's been some crazy foliage from uh, storms and whatnot. Going back to the waterfall. Oh, it was bigger last time. Oh, it's definitely lost a lot of water since the last time I was here. I guess there hasn't been as much rain and stuff since last time, but still very pretty. So right next to the waterfall, which you got right there, we've got the Western Red Cedar. This one right here. And then this spindly looking one right beside it is actually a yew tree, which is uh, a lot more rare than some of the other trees you'll see around here. And it's got a lot rougher, um, kind of crazy looking bark, um, as you can see. And these are its needles, but uh, yeah, so that's the yew tree bar versus the western red cedar bar. So that's kind of cool. Well, I guess I really didn't need to even pack a second layer because it's getting really warm. I think part of that's just from hiking a lot uphill, but dang, I'm feeling warm right now and just this long sleeve. Oh, but uh, it's nice to hike when the sun's out. Have it glinting through the trees on me. Um, the trail looks pretty with the tr the sun 
beating down onto it in certain spots. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a good little trail. I'm glad to be able to do it again. Like I definitely love exploring new places, but it's also fun going back to the old places and uh, just uh, seeing what's up, seeing what's changed, what stayed the same. And uh, just uh, kind of like saying hello to an old friend that you haven't seen in a while. And uh, yeah. It is unstable. Well, we're at our second waterfall of the day. Um, this one's a little less uh, pretty, but uh, it's a waterfall, so you can't complain. Well, we're finding little bits of snow. Um, not anything in the sun at all, but in the bits of shade we're finding a bit of snow, so I guess it got cold out here as well last night, but uh, overall it's been a really warm day. Well, we've made it up to the final little waterfall area. Um, as you can see, um, definitely not quite as magnificent as the other ones but still interesting nonetheless this one you're kind of on top of instead of down below but it's kind of continuous because you got it up there comes down and then uh, goes over the edge over there but yeah, be a good place to get water because you know it's rushing pretty fast so you know it should be relatively clean so I was out here and I, uh, I found some turkey tail fungus uh, along this log, which is pretty cool. And then there's some more on this one and down there, but it's uh, it's pretty cool to see. Um, just the way the fungus, it actually does look like a turkey tail, like the back of it, um, which is pretty fun. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really neat fungus. It's kind of interesting be coming back here because the last time I was here, I guess there had been a ton of rain, and so all this was super muddy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> There's still mud and water. Why am I not surprised? This area is just not great for uh, trail maintenance. Hopefully they'll rework this at some point because this is not ideal. 
I'll, uh, I'll admit that. Um, like, I don't mind walking through a little bit of water, but walking through mud is just not, not the most fun when I have to clean my boots the next day, but that's, that's the main trail. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it looks very well used. So I found uh, some hemlock cones here, uh, which come from uh, this tree right here, which is the hemlock tree. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a neat little tree. I love how tiny little cones are. It's kind of pretty. And we got uh, more fungus up here. Um, I don't 100% know which type of fungus this is, but uh, it's always cool to diff see the different uh, plants and fungi and everything in the uh, in the forest. Well, we made it back to Peter and Lake. Just pulling up on the, the viewpoint right now, but uh, it was a nice little hike. Definitely a bit slower than I would have liked um, my pace to be personally, but it is what it is. Um, but it'll be nice to sit down and eat something as it's probably about lunchtime and I haven't eaten anything yet today um so that's that's always fun but um yeah, we're just coming up on the lake now it's my mom and sister see the waves are wind starting to pick up a little bit and the lake showing it but yeah, and there's Pete and Link. We're certainly making good time on the way back, uh, partially because it's mostly downhill, uh, but we're also just picking up the pace quite a bit, um, just because it got so cold and we're just kind of ready to go home at this point. Um, but it's been a decent hike overall. Um, definitely enjoyed bits of it quite a bit and it was kind of nice to go out with the family um so I feel like a lot of my hikes are either like with my friends or whatever um but it was cool to go out and uh experience this park again in uh in a time when there's been a little less rain but it's a bit colder Well, we uh, we finished off our hike and uh, now we're heading home. It's a decent hike overall, but uh, I'll see you next Sunday.